Authorities in the UAE have announced that they'll start to gradually lift restrictions for COVID-19 by mid-February. Now, what does that mean for us if we were to go out and uh, have a nice dining experience as venues will now be allowed to operate at 100% capacity, which also includes events? We speak to an expert in the F&B industry to understand more. We still have a maximum of 10 on the tables. Uh, although I mentioned, you know, there's a one metre rule between tables, we try to still uh, make that a little bit larger in some of our restaurants to just make the customer feel a little bit safer. It's great news, fantastic that we can obviously see this and it's, it's see these restrictions being eased. We will be obviously, we'll be waiting for the government to give us the next group of guidelines and the easing of restrictions and we will manage that accordingly. Though restrictions have eased, FNB outlets will still hope to exercise caution. We're op operating all of our restaurants uh, at 100% but we still, because of the current scenario when it comes to uh, COVID, we, we do limit the spaces within that. So we've not at maximum of 100% within our restaurants. We still, um, we're still very cautious. Uh, we want to ensure that our community and our customers feel safe when they come to our establishments or our restaurants. So we're inside one of the F&B outlet called Santeria, which actually opened just a few weeks before Omicron had hit uh, the world. And we speak to Mark in a greater detail about how they've had to adapt with their new business models and also strategies when it comes to building the trust of the customers. Once we opened the doors in October, we sort of read the business and we were testing the water, so to speak, in the beginning, ensuring that that we, we didn't over uh, book the spaces. We, we wanted to make sure that the customers felt safe and the community were welcomed as well. Uh, and then, you know, obviously we came into December and we had Omicron. So, we, you know, we had to, you know, sense check it and, and re reduce that a little bit to make sure that we were, we were safe and also for our team. Dubai's Supreme Committee of Crisis and Disaster Management said that all activities, events and social gatherings in Dubai can gradually return to full capacity by February 15. Authorities also announced that cinemas in the UAE will begin operating at maximum capacity from February 15. As per the new rules, social distancing in mosques and other places of worship will also be reduced to one meter. Sports facilities such as football stadiums will also operate at 100% capacity. The F&B industry will look forward to going back to full operations. However, they are hoping that the positive momentum will continue in the long run. I, I believe that our industry here, food and beverage industry, is such an important uh, cornerstone for the growth and the success of the UAE. And us as leaders within the food and beverage industry, we need to make sure that we keep a close eye on that. You know, Dubai is a wonderful destination to come and, and enjoy a holiday here. And I see food and beverage as being a cornerstone of that experience. And, and we're, part of that, uh, we're part of that journey. And we want to make sure that uh, we're here for the long, long run. It's a marathon and not a sprint. The hospitality industry will await further instructions from the relevant authorities. Meanwhile, they'll be hoping that their operations will continue as usual under the new normal circumstances. With cameraman Shahab, this is Abdul Karim reporting for Khalij Times.